to the abyss. Today we're in the field exploring the rocky intertidal habitat. We're looking at the common periwinkle. Let's dive in. It may not look like it, but the intertidal zone is an extremely hard place to live. The animals that live here must be adapted to both living underwater and on land. For many hours of the day, they're underwater and have to be able to breathe and find food. For the rest of the day, they have to survive above water conditions and survive desiccation or drying out, as well as the hot temperatures of the sun. One animal that is well adapted to this environment is the common periwinkle, Littorina littoria. They are a mollusk and are basically just an ocean snail. They are commonly found in the intertidal zone of temperate waters. When they are underwater, periwinkles come out of their shell and crawl along the ocean floor and along rocks. They use a tooth-like structure called a radula to feed on diatoms and certain species of algae. When the tide goes out and periwinkles are left on land, they try to find an area to hide with as much moisture as possible, such as tidal pools, the cracks in between rocks, and under a bed of seaweed. They then attach themselves to the rock, tuck themselves into their shell, and seal themselves off from the external environment. Periwinkles also have a structure called an operculum. This is a calcareous flap that they can use to seal off the opening of their shell. These adaptations allow for periwinkles to survive desiccation and wait out until the tide comes back in and they're underwater once again. That's it for this episode. If you want to see more in the field videos, let us know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, I will see you later.